Go ahead and skip the 2 minute and 53 seconds if you don't want to watch me prepare the photo. Since I don't have any models on hand, we're going to use a photo of myself. Pretty cool, right? First thing I'm going to do is crop in real quick, make sure the exposure is right on my skin. Which, yeah, it looks just about spot on. I'm going to knock down some of these highlights. Maybe bring the exposure up just a tiny bit and bring down the highlights. And, yeah, that should be pretty cool. All right. And now I'm going to go back over and reset the crop back to the original crop. And then open the image in Photoshop. Uh, we're going to select the healing brush tool and just knock out some of these like little pimples and you know imperfections on the skin. Now I do have pretty bad skin so uh, uh, we're just going to knock all that out. I'm, I got the whole ingrown hairs on the neck thing and I don't know all kinds of stuff going on so let me just go ahead and plow through this real quick boom 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 sped up the video and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this by clicking command J so we're duplicating that base layer now we are gonna open up a curves adjustment layer and uh, what we're going to do here is dodge and burn. This is just a little custom dodge and burn. So we're going to drop, you know, just pull that curves adjustment layer down a little bit for the mids. And uh, we're going to invert that by hitting command I. And then we're going to call this burn. And then we're going to go ahead and open up a new curves adjustment layer. And we're going to bring the mids up a little bit. Just pull up. And... We will go ahead and invert that again, command I, and then I'm going to call this dodge. Sometimes I call it high and low, but dodge and burn is the correct term for it, so we'll go from there. Now we're going to come over here and make sure that layers in white and black, because we're going to open our brush and we're going to paint in white. So we're painting in white, you know, right over those dodge and burns, blah, 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 going through. Now... Now select the top layer and you're going to hit the keyboard shortcut shift option command E and that is going to merge all of the layers underneath of it into a new layer. Now click command J twice. We're going to select that copy layer. I'm going to call the bottom layer blur and the top layer sharp. Now I'm going to disable clicking the little eye bell. I'm going to disable the, the sharp layer and go over to, you're going to go to filter blur gaussian blur and i'm going to set that down to i don't know right around 20 percent, 14 percent. it depends on the skin so just like see how everything looks all kind of blended together so you're going to go ahead and select that sharp layer again um, enable it select it all right we're going to go to image apply image we're going to apply it to the blur layer the layer right underneath this one and we're going to select subtract scale is going to be set to two offset is 128 I don't know why that's just the magic that happens anyway uh, <clears throat> now we're going to go back to filter going to go to sharpen I use unsharp mask for this and I set it to I don't know right around 50 percent okay and uh, that's just so that sharp layer is you know we don't lose out on any detail. So we're going to uh, select the sharp layer and then you're going to drop down to linear light. That's uh... now go ahead and select that blur layer. And we're going to select the lasso tool and around the big patches of skin, make sure we're doing it on the skin. You're going to select, uh, you're going to select and then you're going to hit filter Gaussian blur or filter blur Gaussian blur. And, uh, and then you're going to select some more patches of skin, then click filter, Gaussian blur, filter, Gaussian blur. And uh, we're just going to do that throughout the whole image, all only on the skin. Leave a little space between the skin and the, the rest of the image. 
Now select the top layer and you're going to hit the keyboard shortcut shift option command E and that is going to merge all of the layers underneath of it into a new layer. For a little finishing touch I go to unsharpen mask and I jack it up. I jack it up to like the two, three, four hundreds, whatever. Uh, for this one we're going to we're going to put it all the way up to I don't know 235. Click OK and uh, we're going to create a layer mask and invert that layer mask and with our brush tool we're going to brush some sharpness into the eyes the eyebrows, the beard, just uh, anywhere where it should be kind of sharp. So going through there, boom, boom, and uh, that'll kind of offset the frequency separation layers that we just did. So there we go, there's before and after. Not too shabby.